Thank you. Hi, hi guys. How are you? Good. Thank Good. you. How are you? Fine, fine. Thank you. Um, I'd like to ask you first about um the affair between your two characters, especially uh, what do you think they see in each other? Because it seems like it's that affair is born out of more than just boredom and frustration. There's something there beneath the surface. What? Why do you think that is? Um. Well, I do. Th I do think that Candy, when she has an idea, sets her mind to it and will stop at nothing to figure it out. Um, and I do think when she, when the idea is planted in her head, um, because one, she also loves these romance novels, but also her best friend um, is getting a divorce, and it and it plants some a seed in her. Um, this kind of disruptor. And I think she decides at that moment that she, that there's something desirable about being on your own in the world or making decisions selfishly. And I think she wants a secret and she wants something for herself. That's what she thinks she wants. And, um, and I, and I, and I think there is like a natural, maybe ease and friendship to the two of them within their community. Um, and I do think there's something about pheromones that gave her an idea. <laughs> <laughs> a powerful thing. <laughs> But yeah, I think there's something more, more and than she that. had to act that I actually don't smell very good. That's not true, Jesse. <laughs> don't say that about yourself. I was up in a lot. That's true. <laughs> Um, how important is that that component of community? You know, they all know each other, or the, the couples in the church, they are friends for a very long time. How important is that that sense of community and that the, the things that um, can fester in that community because it, it, it is such a, a close-knit close thing? Well, I think we all have that part of us that puts on a face, even with people that, that we're close to. And especially at that time in that place, um, I think it was, you know, especially for men, there were just plenty of things that weren't, weren't talked about, you know, and, and most of those things that, that weren't talked about are the kind of <laughs> the important, the important parts of, of ourselves and the way we experience the world and our fears and all, all that stuff. So, um, yeah, I, I think that's sort of what this affair, this relationship provided for, for them was a, a space to explore all of that in an honest way in a friendship. And, and yeah, uh, there's felt, felt safe. Like they weren't going to be, you know, judged, which, again, at that time, must have been so liberating. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, if you had to, if you had to describe the show in just one word, I know it's hard, but if you had had to do it, how would you describe it in just one word? I mean, it's called love and death. That's two words. I don't know. One word. <laughs> uh... Oh gosh, I don't know. Nothing seems good enough. Do you have one? Because then if someone asks us, I'm just going to use your answer. <laughs> uh, surprising, I think it would be, okay. it would be good. Yeah, I found a lot of the decision making these people um, did uh, surprising and shocking. It's yeah, yeah mm -hmm. it's stranger than fiction. Mm -hmm. That's, that's a very good answer. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. Thank, Thank you. you.